Hey guys, Tomo here. Once again, I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to add a background such as borders to uh, your YouTube background if you ever want to create one. Just a little help. First, I'm going to start out obviously opening Photoshop. Find a little template. You can find them all over the uh, YouTube sort of community. People giving away GFX packs. They are constantly in them, so that's basically what this is. I'm gonna first add a. Uh, I'm gonna add a gradient just for the background, just a little bit. So I'm gonna click gradient, click radial to make it circular, click reverse, double click on that. There we go. Uh, click on that one. Then I'm gonna put, let's just do, let's just do a gray one. There we go. A little bit darker. There we go. Bring a ruler into the middle, find the middle point. There we go. Let's split it out, darlings. Ursh, because let's go back down onto the bottom layer, hey. First of all, oh, sugar. there we go. Middle, and bring it across. There we go, it looks nice, very, very nice. Then, in order, that'll do for the background. What we're going to do is create the borders. So we're going to do some like frilly bits and then some other frilly bits and some, some good stuff, eh? You want to create a new layer each time? Grab the pen tool. I click, say, somewhere in here. Click outside and drag to sort of, sort of the wanted sort of design. Bring it around, bring it around behind. There we go. Fill path. 50% grey, that would do. Uh, delete the path. Let's go to. Mm, no, it's not a good solution. Let's click Control J to copy it, then Control T, and hold Shift and move it in, and we'll create like a smaller one. Okay, let's find the layers. Where is the layers? Style, sorry. that one then press control on the bottom one uh, merge these layers so now they want go press new layer pen tool again click here let's go here and let's click outside and let's make like a really nice arc bit too small there we go let's bring it around finish it off fill path there we go Oh, sorry. Delete path. What you then want to do is control uh, J, control T, and then what I'm going to do is shift and move it up a little bit, just to make it a little bit smaller. Then I'm going to paste these onto the layers that I've just created. And because that one's a bit too small, let's zoom in a little bit by holding alt and then pressing the wheel on your mouse or any other way depending on what you use move that in a little bit there we go and what I like to do after these is merge the layers and merge those layers and then I'm going to create a new layer what I like to do is use the ellipse tool creates like a nice sort of elliptical around the side there we go and then I'm going to paste the layer style. So let's just move it down a little bit. And then press Ctrl J, Ctrl T. I'm going to hold up Shift and move it back. I'm going to then go to layer 24 and just see what it looks like. It doesn't look too good because on these layers, the circle layers, I have got the bevel at that angle, and it's at that angle. 
There we are, that looks better. And what I will be doing in the next, I'm going to show you the layer styles that I'm going to be creating and then using on these. It makes them look so much better. So stick around for that. And I will be putting a download link in the description for you to use them because they are so nice. Um, I'm then going to press on the, after you've merged all of these layers together, Control J, Control T. I'm going to then edit, transform, flip horizontal. I'm going to then move it across till I get it in line. So it looks sort of around about the same way. There we go. That looks about right. There we go. Now, if you want to, after you've done this, create some more little frilly bits, you can create like a, if you go down a little bit, like some waves. Create some like waves, that looks nice. And then what I might do is just bring it there go around the other side and then drag so we get a nice little sort of like sort of like a sneaky effect it's kind of nice snake I'm a snake I'm a snake there we go have you guys seen that video it's a brilliant video I'm a snake I'm a slippery slippery slimy snake <laughs> There we go. So, off, off, off that. Fill in uh, the path and 50% grey, why not? Delete the path. There we go, nice little sort of, uh, sort of sneaky effect, like as if it's grappling it together. And then you want to paste the layer style. Yeah, it looks alright. Doesn't look particularly bad, but doesn't look particularly good. What I am going to do, obviously, in the next video is bring these layer styles onto these. I'll show you, I'll use this as a uh, sort of a template and then see what we can make it look like so what you want to do is control j control t again transform flip horizontal you want to then move this across to you get it in the same sort of place that looks about oh a little bit further up there it looks about right press enter or double click and there you go you've got some nice sort of borders if you want to call them that and what you can do sometimes is if you create them a bit larger around the side you can put your logo up in here shade it in always looks nice there you go guys there's my first tutorial watch that and uh, the next tutorial we'll be showing you how to create sort of like a really good effect on the what's it called like the, the background if you know what I mean this bit this bit involves video, you know, channel box and stuff like that. Make it look real nice. You get a nice drop shadow, a nice bevel in the boss to make it look like glossy effect, make it look nice and professional. Always does. And then after that, oh, well, either after that, oh, I don't know, I'll decide in a minute uh, whether I'm going to put the layer styles before or after. Okie dokie. Um, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. You know how it is. The usual shiznit. Um.